All right, you guys, so time to check out Twice's Ready to Be EP. Yes, so this is going to be part one. I'm going to do Got the Thrills and Blame It on Me in this part, and then part two, you know, Wallflower, Crazy Stupid Love, and English version of Set Me Free. So, yes, um, just going to get straight into it, man. Obviously, really excited for all these songs. Sure, it's going to be great. Like, just finished uh, watching them on Fallon. I'm going to include that uh, reaction in the description. Maybe even, like, pin it in a comment. Because, obviously, I can't upload it on YouTube. So, yeah. It'll be down there somewhere, you know. But, yeah. Hopefully, you guys can't hear, you know, the rain outside. It's about to rain for, like, six days straight. So, hopefully, you don't hear it. But, yeah. Let's get into it with God the Thrills. <laughs> Starting off right. Sounds so good. There it is. This type of song that you just have to move to. I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's go. This part, so good. The ending was so good. Man, that song is so fun. It sounds so good, like their vocals throughout it, but just even like the lyrics and uh, like the melody of it and everything, particularly I think the pre-chorus is so good. Like um, Mina's when she says it's like a chemistry of you and me can you see just how she's singing that and how it sounds with the instrumental is so good um yeah so like just the whole melody from beginning to end is so good the vibe too is just like again i said it's the type of song that you just kind of have to like move with you know you it just it kind of puts you in this mood of like uh good energy and um like one to at least dance a little bit uh and it's just, it's really fun it's fun it's it's bright it's upbeat um i can easily see choreo for this you know like as far as new songs i think they're gonna perform i would really love this yo like this at a show uh just like first off in a stadium too just like really good energy man it would be a really good time 
like even like the lyrics let's rock and roll how we groove in and all that it's like yo this is like the party kind of song that uh you know they sort of needed um yeah like it's just it's a really good time uh well produced well put together and then you add in like uh their vocals like chewy sounding great again she just um constantly gets better i say it all the time sana sounded great obviously nyan and Gio and jung young with greg mina uh dahyun when she was singing che young you know um so like momo obviously everyone's just like you know again in the zone for something like this um and just like they create uh, a really fun song with just really good energy just like it's it's a good time listening to this man like um as much as i love you know set me free and um moonlight sunrise this as far as the new songs like i can i'm gonna be putting this on repeat man like it's just really good it's, it's a good time man i want to listen to it again right now but you know i gotta move to the other songs but yeah um i hope they perform it I hope they have like choreo for it and just like man it's it's really really like nice to listen to I really enjoyed it all right next song blame it on me oh, Dude, something about twice doing like rock kind of songs. It's always on point. <laughs> Let's go, Jalen. Dude, their musical evolution, I swear. I do like how this didn't turn out exactly how I thought it might. It's actually much better. How do their vocals just work with everything? Okay, the first of two songs written by Da Hyun, and yeah, it didn't go uh, how I, I expected, you know, when I saw the title, Blame It On Me, and you know, it's her, I thought I was like, you know, we were gonna get like a sad <laughs> kind of maybe love track, but no, it's um, it's kind of like the opposite of that, um, like it's talking about like someone and how they're kind of like um losing control or losing themselves because of you know uh the person that's like singing this but yeah you know them saying it's not my fault 
you know. Uh, don't cry about me. Don't blame it on me. Um, and yeah, like, again, subverting my expectation, but in the best way. Uh, yeah, lyrics on point. But the sound of the song, the rock sound, is just like, yes. We, we sort of heard it in Queen of Hearts, but again, here and here, it's like, yo, they could do, like, whatever genre, you know? Obviously, pop and, like, rap and hip-hop and, like, you know, maybe even, like, EDM-ish stuff. But to do, like, a more rock sound is always really cool to hear. Again, like, their music just continues to evolve. And getting to hear them on something like this just is super cool. Like, Momo sounded great on here. Um, Mina, like, when when that like part came up where it's like she's like gestures aura and my charms are like whoa and just how that sounded um that part was great chewy obviously you know che young the rap section it's just again like hearing their vocals on these different type of instrumentals just gives me different colors to like you know them as singers and uh, I love hearing that. I love just hearing like them on a rock song and be like, damn, they can really do this, you know? And so, yeah, that's what this was. Again, um, sounded great. Sounded great. Uh, every time I have a feeling that like with each song that, you know, is on this album, I'm immediately just going to picture it being performed live and be like, wow, that would be so dope, you know, in a stadium and just, yeah. Um, yeah. Another, another great song. Uh, really enjoyed the vocals and just like, again, uh, the production on this. All right, so I'll stop it here for part one. And we're obviously going to continue this in part two. So see you guys next time.